Hello everyone, this will be an announcement video for the Rule the Waves Fleet Combat Tournament. That's right, this is the closest thing I can imagine to multiplayer in Rule the Waves. Uh, this is an opportunity for you to design some ships, put them into a fleet, it's for a fleet, and then pit your fleet against other players' fleets. So this will be a tournament just because we're building up hype for this Rule the Waves 2 launch, which is happening in less than two weeks. Um, I'm really excited about that. So what is the what is the deal? Let's go into first the rules. So the, basically you're going to submit to me four ship design files. We're going to be using the maximum text available. So anything, everything 1925 and above, or basically the latest tech you can imagine. If you don't have a, a ship, sorry, a save game with the full tech, I am going to provide one. And I'll, I'll show you that in this video as well. So you're going to design your different ships. Uh, and then we'll, I'll have a, a big tournament, a stream on this Saturday, May 11th. Time still yet to be determined, but um, I'll announce that eventually. And I'll stream this tournament. I'll just be going one by one. We'll pair off, maybe randomly or something. Randomly pair different players against each other in some kind of tree format. Um, some brackets. And then whoever gets to the finals, you know, we'll have some... Big finals, maybe it'll be a best out of 10 for the finals, best out of 9, I should say. Uh, you know, 11, who knows, a lot. We'll simulate multiple times. But anyway, so, um, design files, what I need is one Dreadnought design file, one battle cruiser, one Light Cruiser, and one Destroyer design file. The actual ships in the fleet will be four Dreadnoughts, two Battle Cruisers, six Light Cruisers, and up to 12 Destroyers. There's a little bit of play in the Destroyer one based on what uh, tonnage you choose your design to be. So speaking of tonnage, let's jump into that. Um, for the battle, for the dreadnoughts and the battle cruisers, I'm going with, by the way, the whole theme of this is using the Washington Naval Treaty limits. So uh, each ship will have a limit of 35,000 tons. However, just to make it a little more interesting, the maximum tonnage for all six of your capital ships will be 200,000 tons. And what this means is like two very, like, Probably the most common ways you can divide this is if you make your four dreadnoughts 32,500 tons, then your two battle cruisers can be 35,000 tons, the max, and that'll get you to 200,000. Or alternatively, you can make your uh, dreadnoughts 35,000 at the max, and then your two battle cruisers, so your, your battle cruiser design will need to be at 30,000 tons. But if you want, I mean, this is an upper limit. If you want to go below that, you can do that as well. You can make all of your designs. I think 33,000 would maybe work, I think. Uh, so, and that would put you a little bit under the limit, but then you'd have symmetric battle cruisers and dreadnoughts. Maybe you think that's ideal. It's fine. If you wanted to make both of them like 20,000 tons, I don't know why you would, but that's possible. Just upper limit, 200,000 tons, excuse me, 200,000 tons for all six. Also note there's some restrictions here. Minimum am ammunition is 100, so we need 100 rounds per gun. And minimum speed for the battle cruisers is 29 knots. Minimum speed for the dreadnoughts is 21 knots. I have chosen these numbers specifically because I think that I tried to choose numbers like that will make things fair according to my simulator. I know the internals. Very few people know much about the internals. Nobody knows them all except for me, so I, I'm not sure if I'll, I probably won't participate in this, but I always design my ships like to completely agnostic to the internal f information of the simulator. So even if I do end up having a tournament, uh, a fleet, I may not care, or, you know, it, it won't be, I probably won't play. No, I probably won't play. Anyways, so I've chosen these numbers just to give you a range where I think that some extra speed might still be helpful, so it's not totally useless. But uh, you know, if everyone chooses design at these two different speeds, it's also fine. It's not that abnormal for a bunch of different ships to all have the same speed. Okay, so then the light cruisers will have maximum of six inch guns. Uh, the maximum tonnage per ship is 6,000. There's no play with this at all. Just, it'll be six at 6,000 tons, which gives us a maximum of 36,000. And the main thing is gonna be kind of like this armor versus guns versus torpedoes, this whole decision. That'll be how the light cruiser will be made. But basically these are supposed to be support ships. So it doesn't matter if we have, the, the main design fun will be in the Dreadnoughts and Battle Cruisers, at least if you ask me. However, I am also giving you a, a little bit of 
room to play with the different destroyers. Maximum 5 inch guns, total tonnage of 12,000 tons, and you can do this in three different ways. This is the only one where I'm allowing a different number of ships based on how heavy those ships are. You can go with a 1,000 ton destroyer, and, you can, and uh, you'll be allowed 12 of them. You can go with a 1,200 ton destroyer, so you'll be allowed 10 of them. Or you can go with a 1,500 ton destroyer, and you'll have 8 of them. So then the divisions, so you'll have one division of dreadnoughts, one division of battlecruisers, two divisions of light cruisers, which will just have three ships each. And then uh, if you chose the 1,000 ton uh, destroyers, you'll have three divisions of four destroyers. And if you chose uh, either the heavier two tonnage, you'll have uh, either two divisions of five or two divisions of four destroyers. Last, the big question, how are you going to score this Tortuga? Good question. Well, we're kind of kind of just use common sense. Uh, you know, it'll be a stream, so maybe we'll even do straw polls to vote on close ones. But basically, since it's a simulator, I'm going to jump to the end line here. The most important thing is, if we have inconclusive results, if it's not really obvious, instead of just trying to pick some fancy methodology for determining who is a winner, I plan to just re-simulate it, because that's the easy way to basically keep rolling the dice until we find the, the true winner. Anyway, uh, what I plan to use as the criteria for judging the winner is, first and foremost, total tonnage of ships sunk. Um, I want to also take a look at which fleet attempts to retreat first. Um, at some point, ships are, uh, they, they're so beaten up that they realize the fleet's like, oh, we're getting so damaged, we need to pull out. Now, I could also limit this behavior, but if this behavior is still in the simulator that we use for the actual tournament, um, I don't want this behavior to end up rewarding the retreating fleet. So, because that's basically just, that's a tactical decision that the player should make, but it's my simulator implementing that. I don't want to give an advantage. My simulator shouldn't favor the person who was losing first, right? So we may need to take this into account. Uh, and then last, another tiebreaker type thing, of course, very obvious, is the health of the surviving capital ships. Um, but again, if the simulator is close, we'll just resim it. And we may even just do best two out of three no matter what. Uh, and again, I think that for the finals or whatever, we'll probably simulate many, many times just to see uh, you know, who the winner will be. So you have an idea now. You might be licking your chops thinking, okay, what do I do? Um, let's first talk about this save game that I'm going to give you, which is this game two underscore tournament. So what I want you to do, it, it should be game two that you replace. I have here, I think these are two identical... I think they're both identical. One has Trident, one doesn't. But that's fine, let's just erase this. So what you wanna do with your existing game two slot is just copy and then paste it. Somehow back it up. And this is one way to back it up very quickly. We can rename it if we want. Game two backup. Now, uh, you'll take this game two tournament, you'll put this, this is by the way, in your save folder in the Rule the Waves directory. So you'll wanna copy the folder which I send, which is attached at the uh, NWS forum It'll be attached there. You'll want to take the Game 2 Tournament one, put it in this, and then once that's done, once you've backed up Game 2, delete it, and rename this to just Game 2. Now, Game2.Tournament only has two files in it. This is the bare minimum, you, bare minimum you need to run the game without crashing it. And this has uh, all the technologies unlocked. Let's go ahead and take a look. So you'll load up Game 2. It's France. This is actually from the Succession series with histor the historical gamer next to your G. What you'll notice is everything is blank. All attentions are zero. I did a lot of editing of this. I gave you a lot of money. Not that it really matters. Do not hit next turn. If you do, it's just gonna pop up a lot of errors. The game will crash even, but uh, it's just not worth doing. Um, the, there's still other you know ships and everything, but basically, like I said, the only thing you should be doing is opening this because it has all the technology. That's right, Everything, every single thing. Note that there are no quality one 18 inch guns um, because there you cannot get them in the game anyway. Like there's no way to get the quality one in, in, eight inch guns as like to my knowledge. So um, you will be designing this with quality zero for 18 inch guns, but quality one for everything else. So you can choose to use that information for you or against you. We probably won't see because of that 18 inch guns, at least I don't imagine. So once you have this, you can, I mean, we have every, all the best technology. So now we're just designing the everyone on the level playing field. We're designing the ships as we want. 
So um, let's design, let's auto design a dreadnought. And this one, holy cow, came out to exactly 35,000 tons. I don't know, that's some kind of weird coincidence. However, this one doesn't really tickle my fancy. Um, I like higher torpedo defense. Uh, minimum speed obviously is 21. I do like 22 for mine though. I'm gonna stick with that. We're gonna go for four for deck, lower the conning a lot. I'm not gonna be super serious about this one because uh, again, I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna participate no reason to have the midships turret, so let's delete that and get the forward super firing, superimposed, whatever. Instead, let's do that with a triple because it's going to be a little bit... Now nah, let's do it with a quadruple. It's a crazy design. I, I really don't like that, but that's fine. So we have 12 16-inch guns. It's great. Minimum of 100 rounds per gun. That's fine. Of course, you should choose director, advanced director. That definitely is taken into account in the simulator. And actually, a lot of this stuff is perfect. We want the director firing, but um, I don't usually have tertiary guns. This one doesn't. So now with all these dis uh, these little things, um, oh yeah, and you should choose accommodation normal, not cramped. But let's see. Um, I think we'll just go with higher belt to try to finagle out a little bit of extra. Something like this, maybe 12.5, and drop this down. Her top, 4.5, there we go. Something like this. Okay, so let's just pretend that this is the design I wanted. It's really not a bad one. Let's save this as... Uh, the Dreadnought uh, that I want is the Tortuginator. The Tortuginator Dreadnought. So we save that. We don't need to actually build it because it doesn't matter. And then in my save game folder in game two, we now see the Tortuginator. Now, after I've done this four different times, uh, those are the four design files that I want. The only other thing that we're missing now, so basically that's, what is what is Tortuga need submitted? Preferably by in a zip. I think zip is gonna be the only way to do this. Um, I need the, the four design files. Let's pretend that I have those already here. There's only one, but let's pretend. And then I want one fleet.txt file. Now I'm gonna give you this fleet underscore player as uh, along with the max tech save game. And this is just a list of the fleet itself. So for example, if you were to choose um, the 1000 ton destroyers, you'd want three divisions. So this would be something like this instead. And then nine would be, so that's that's how you would do it. And you'd add 11 and 12 here as well. So it's kind of a simple format. It's already set up as a template for you. And you can, re the reason why I'm giving you this file is if you don't want to do anything with this, all you need to do is replace the second column as it were, the whatever's after the comma. This just needs to be all the same uh, of your design files. So let's see, in this case, I chose the Tortuginator. Let me just go to edit, replace, test BB with, instead of my design, let's choose Tortuginator.20D. And if you do have your own design game file, I don't recommend it, just use mine, I would say, because that puts you exactly on an even keel. But if you made this, make sure to pay attention to the extension. If you use like game three save, then this would be like 30D. But just this, in my case, is Tortuginator.20D. Replace all, and that gets rid of the test BB. It's now my design. And then I could just save this. I'm not going to save it, but I could just save this. And you, what you want to save it as is fleet underscore your like tag. So for me, it would be fleet underscore Tortuga. So we have a finished version here. For example, I called my Dreadnought Division, the Tortugas Boys, best subscribers, blah, blah, blah. I called my Battlecruiser Division big and fast, and then I ran out of creativity. But you get the point. You can just choose to name things as you'd like, if you would like to. If you don't want, you can just leave things exactly as they are and just replace the ship design names. Uh, and then it, it won't be, it'll be very generic, but that's fine, it'll be completely functional. So, it's up to you. So that's it. Once that those things are all done, just take this fleet.tortuga, let's paste it into here, and you're just gonna collect these both and then add them to a zip. 
There's probably a ni lots of nice ways to add them to a zip. I always just right click and then, well, I have 7-zip, which is a great program. And then I just add it to game2.zip. So this is what I would go ahead and post on the NWS forum in the thread on my simulator, um, which I'll have a link for in the video description below, but also I'll have a, a pinned comment in the comment section below. Just click on that link and submit your your zip that way. So it's a little bit of a, a kind of takes some computer savvy to do this. I'm sorry about that, but I, I just, I'm not running a, a charity business to do this basically, so I need your help to kind of set things up. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, I wish I could just, you know, have some email address where you email me the files and run some script to generate your names and all that. I, but I, I'm just asking for you to do a little bit of the, de, of the work besides the design to get this all to work. But I'll try to help out if there's like, you know, if this file format is a little bit messed up and my simulator can't read it, I'll try to look through it, see if there's a mistake made or something. Um, I won't try to like disqualify you if you're missing a comma or something, but you tried. Uh, the point is just to, that I'm imagining like 20 or so entries. And if I was to create this fleet.txt file for all 20 people, it would take more time than I have available to dedicate to this project. But there you have it. Long winded way of saying, please join the fleet combat simulator multiplayer tournament. And then you know, uh, we can all get hyped. We can watch the, you, please join me for the stream on Saturday and we can get hyped about Roll the Waves 2 while we see who has designed the best fleet. Well, at least according to Tortuga Simulator. So that's it. I'm going to wrap this one up. Um, look for any uh, more updates on the NWS forum post. Or you can also talk about this in my Discord on the Rule the Waves channel. I already posted my rules there. I'll probably pin those. And uh, I'll be happy to answer questions in the comments section, on the NWS forums, or on the Discord, wherever you want to reach me. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see your submissions soon. And I hope to see you on Saturday for the tournament. As I said, there might be a prize. Uh, but the pri biggest prize, of course, is the knowledge that your fleet is the best at my simulator. <laughs> so until, until the next video, or until, hopefully I'll see you on Saturday. Until then, take care.